A new video captures a speeding car moments before it struck a bicyclist in the West Village. Police say the driver and the passenger inside that car refused to pull over for officers conducting a weapons investigation. They are both now in custody and charges are pending. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is in the West Village with the story. Tom? And Sandra, this is exactly where it happened, West Houston and McDougal last night. A busy neighborhood still littered in police tape. The woman transported from here in critical last night. She's stable now, run down by a car. Police were trying to stop as part of a gun investigation. It happens in an instant. That's the victim riding her bike all the way to the right on West Houston, the driver of the fleeing Mercedes, making no apparent effort to avoid her. Witnesses feared she'd been killed. Horrible, horrible. Everybody praying like some girls are crying like, oh, I hope she's, she's, I mean, she will survive. The driver then swerves to go the wrong way up the next street, is caught in traffic and arrested. But still, he doesn't go quietly. Police had to tase him. We heard the taser go off. Here he is being taken into custody. Police sources say he has five priors, mostly for domestic violence. His passenger, described by sources as a known gang member with 21 prior arrests, wearing an ankle bracelet because he's on parole for an unrelated gun case. This is what's going on in New York nowadays. Jerry Leonardi still has police tape outside his restaurant. You think they did a good job uh, with a dangerous situation last night? Yes. It follows a memo sent to officers last week by Chief of Department Jeffrey Madry, who wrote, a vehicle pursuit must be terminated whenever the risk to members of the service and the public outweighs the danger to the community if the suspect is not immediately apprehended. In this case, retired NYPD Chief of Detectives Robert Boyce tells us there can be little question police believe they had dangerous suspects in a gun case who needed to be stopped. Dangerous people, this was not a traffic stop. This was an emergency situation where you get these people off the street. And tonight, police say this was by no means a high-speed pursuit. In fact, they say preliminary NYPD data indicates their speed did not exceed 21 miles an hour. Now, that's preliminary data. They're still conducting a review to make sure officers stayed within policy. More on that and what that means coming up.